the 8th, 9th, the 10th of October, but you can't go because it's sold out. And joining me in the studio is Davy Sutton and Skull Grant, two of the Bilberry Goats. Lads, thanks for coming in. No oh, problem, Mark, how are you? Would it be fair to say that you're like the Garth Brooks of Waterford comedy? <laughs> sold out shows coming out the wazoo, lads. Yeah, but none of the residents around Garter Lane have complained about us doing anything. So <laughs> yeah. we're, Not we're, yet, free, anyway. we're free to do what we want around Garter Lane. And tell me, what is the crack with the Bilberry Goats? What's it about? Well, it's basically... Um, God's going to use a big word here now. No, okay, I'm, I'm right, I'm right. Uh, that's if you ask me where we came up with the name. No, about uh, up to three years ago, we were doing the Royal Variety Show on the Theatre Royal, which was 80% musical items and about 20% comedy. Yeah. So we decided to kind of turn that on its head. And let's do a show that's 80% comedy and only 20% music, which is what we're doing now. And it has proven to be a great success because people love to go out and... Just have a laugh, you know. Yeah, and it's good value. If you can have a laugh, it doesn't really matter what you pay for a ticket. Like, yeah, there's, there's healing yeah. in it, isn't there? Mm, yeah, absolutely. Mm, mm, mm. And we generally, like, we, we'll send up the Waterford City Council, we'll send up the health service, we generally send up anybody we can. But they're n namely sketches now, in fairness, yeah. situation sketches, and they're working a treat, so... We're very pleased with it. Was it a bit of a change of scenery, Davy, going from the Theatre Isle, where you would have cut your teeth, to somewhere like Arthur Lane? No. Simply because it's it's a performance area. It's all everything is the same. It's it's just the venue is different. It, it, there's absolutely no change. Uh, admittedly, it's on the flat, and you're not above the audience per se. But no, it's it's a performance area. Yeah, just you're performing. That's it. You were never yes. above the audience. No, no, no. A lot of people would have said I was below them. Or, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, but there's great intimacy in Gartle Lane, Mark. You know, yeah. the, the, it's a, yeah, it seats it's 160. So it's, small, it's a lot smaller, isn't it? It's more. It, it's what, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it's more uh, uh, cheap. <laughs> <laughs> no, the audience are right on top of you in this one. There's yeah. 160 odd people in the in the audience, and it's all on the one level as against the Royal, where you have the balcony, the the, the, the gods for want of a better name, but it's a great venue and no, it's nothing's really changed. It's a performance area and off you go. Now, when you decided to, to do this 80% comedy and 20% music, as you said, uh, putting it on its head, uh, Skull, were you expecting it to be as popular and to sell out as many shows as you have sold out? Well, you're always nervous when you're when you're trying something new and you're hoping you'll sell it out, but we always knew that the Waterford audiences love a bit of comedy. Yeah, and even after some of the variety shows, called, people will come up to you and say, there should have been a bit more comedy yeah. than that, and they should have, yeah. and that triggered the idea, so from there on, then it turned into, mm. yeah, yeah, we, right, we'll, we'll try 80% comedy, and uh, uh, and all the comedy is original, in fairness. Tony Corcoran is our scriptwriter, and he does oh, a great job, gems. you know. Yeah. Well, he didn't get off the streets either, because everyone knows who his dad is. Ah, Danny Corcoran, of course, yeah. And yourselves as well. I've heard it, and, and Tony's writing, I've yep. heard it described as irreverent and brazen. Like, I mean, that's not something you have to put on, really, I'm thinking, <laughs> is it? Well, no, no, but uh, this but this won't be a panto either. This will, th there's a... Uh, it's speckled with a little bit of language, but it's not... Islam was used in the right way. It's not yeah. used for 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 laugh. shock for, value. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. it's not a cheap laugh. Well, let's be honest. It's the way most of us speak, really. Isn't well, it? that's true. There you have that's it. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But it, it's intrinsically Waterford skull. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. it's absolutely. it's directed particularly at a Waterford audience. Jesus Christ Supermax. Is that one of the sketches? That well, it's not one of the sketches this year, but it was one of the sketches last, last year. year. What and was that about? It was the Last Supper. Tony Cochran with yeah, Jesus well, yes. Christ and we were all the the, uh, yeah. the apostles and it went down a tree. This year we have, a, we have the Good Council which again is the, the council sketch. We have the Arthur Brothers and da Davy Fury which is a, a parody, pastiche, a pastiche <laughs> of uh, Irish folk music. Yeah and we're, and kind of, we're starting off with uh, the, uh, the dawn of civilization. Right. When man came about, and oh, then yeah. we move into a, a school sketch, and then, like Davy said, we have to. And we're doing a tribute actually to Danny Corcoran this year. One of his super sketches that he wrote years ago, and his two sons, his daughter, and, and his, his good friend, great Nicky. friend Nicky Cummins are 
I don't want to be doing the kitchen. That'll go down yeah, well. Yeah. Then. Oh, that'll yeah, go down. Yeah, that'll go down really well. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you have as much fun doing this now as you would have when you were doing it 20 years ago? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Even more so. Really. really? I think, yeah. Yeah. Do you have more fun than the audience sometimes? <laughs> and is that allowed? Yes. It is. Yes, it is. Well, there are flash well, points at times d- are, d- during the sketches where you really have to try control, not yeah. bursting out laughing. Yourself yeah, that's what I'm saying. You've gone out of character. Would you like to stay in character as much as possible? It's not an ad lib fest. You generally stick to the oh, script. Stick yes. to your script. Now, if something goes a bit pear shaped, all well and good. We'll track it off and we'll come back to it. But yeah. it's not uh, it's not ad libbing. Oh no, a no, 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 no. We stick to the script. Yeah. But is there is there anything that's happened that shouldn't have happened that you were just going, oh Jesus, I don't think I'm going to be able to keep it together. That's what I want you to tell me. No, we're not going to tell you. We have to kill you. That's libelous. No, no, no. Is there any things have happened before where you'd have to where you'd have to kind of kind of drag it back? You know, if things went a bit. Yeah. And it's, it's yeah. generally when two characters clash on stage and Something like you're that. very close to absolutely exploding in laughter yourself. And it's the audience we want laughing. Yeah. Not, not the not performers. Us. Not us. Yeah. Not you don't really want in-jokes. It's, it's kind of hard to people control won't get them. Yeah. Like, they, ju- they just won't get it. What, what are they talking about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's not like that. It's not for us. It's for everybody else. Yeah, we're telling a little story in every sketch, you know. And this isn't the first time you've done this with the, the Bilberry Goats. Tops of the Town was pretty much the training ground for this. For yourselves oh, and for the other people involved. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, oh. Pantos. Yeah. We had a great time in the 80s. We, we kind of dominated the water for Tops from 84 to about 89 before the magnificent Brian Flynn God rest his soul came along but we, we had a great time when Tops was at its best we were in the thick of it and we got great experience from it you know and isn't it interesting to see that there's still an appetite then for that type of entertainment for yeah, entertainment like yeah. that when, when some people would tell you there isn't yeah and mind you the, our audience is changing we, uh, initially when we started doing this you could see an awful lot of the old Tops of the Town audience exactly, coming yeah, to it yeah. Yeah. Mm. but now the, 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 is it the demographic? It, it's changed. The audience profile has changed. They're getting younger. They're coming to see more livelier comedy. I don't know what way you call the comedy, but it's, again, irreverent. It'll mm. be on the same mm. style as the fast show, t- Monty Python, for want of a better way of saying it. But well, we do get an awful lot more younger people who, I mean, everybody enjoys a laugh. It don't matter what age you are. Absolutely. Now, it's not suitable, more likely, for But children. you can't bring a three-year-old. Okay. It's not a panto. Yeah, it's not a panto. But, but it's... Generally working very well for us, so we're very pleased with it. Has anyone ever gotten offended and let you know that they were offended? Not, not from the Bilbo. Well, they didn't tell us. I'm not, <laughs> not from the Bilbo. No, 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 I no, yeah. the, no, Mark, we don't do that now. We, yeah. don't, we don't insult. No, we do not. We, 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 we don't line. talk about, you know, uh, uh, invalid people yeah. or, yeah. or uh, we draw uh, line. no racist comments, none of that. And even at rehearsals, as a scholar will tell you too, if things get a bit too far and people go off on a tangent, you pull back. That's not in the script, lads. Stop. Mm, 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 you know, you, you just can't. Like, it's, it's not right. Well, well it's interesting to see, and I don't know do you keep track on it, but as far as stand-up comedians go, the one-liners seem to be making a comeback. The likes of what Tommy Cooper would have done years ago. Yeah. That there are comedians who are, Jimmy Carr as an example. Tim Vine does now, his yeah, Tim Vine, on, on And on they sail close to the wind somewhere, but those one-liners are coming back, aren't they? Yeah, they yeah. are indeed, yeah, but generally, the, well, especially the water republic, and I'm sure it's the same, Throughout Ireland, they love the little story in the sketch. You yeah, know, they love the ten-minute sketch. Yeah, and they also like to see local characters Absolutely. in local yeah. sketches. Yeah. It, yeah. it's very intrinsically Waterford. No, no, as much as it would be in Cork, as yeah. much as it would be in Dublin, they like to see the Waterford lads take the pee out of Waterford situations. Well, isn't that one thing that Waterford people were always gifted at? And no matter, that. Uh, taking the piss. Like, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Pretty gifted yeah. at it. No yeah, matter where yeah, you go. Yeah. Like, mm. And mm. admired for it. Yeah, at hurling <laughs> matches and soccer yeah. matches. Yeah. You'd often hear a shout coming yeah. out of the stand and the whole place would piss oh, themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's something that you're taking and putting on the stage. Yeah. We're doing another sketch this year now and it's uh, the dressing room in the GAA, a GAA dressing room, dressing room yeah. after a major game. And... We done it about five years ago, did we, Davy? Yeah, but we turned it around. We turned it around, but the, 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 Tony the audience just—they loved it. And even some of our councillors 
came to see the show and saw us sending them up. Yeah, yeah. And they loved it. Well, that was the next question that you I was going to ask okay, you. Frank, sorry, before you go on, take, for example, last year we done a council sketch where the mayor was four, but and that was kind of indirectly at, <laughs> at, 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 at John Cummins. At John Cummins, because, because he was a very young, young mayor. Yeah. Now, it wasn't mentioned that it was John, but John knew, and yeah. he knew damn well. Yeah. And he loved it. And he loved it. He loved it. He loved it. And that's what I was going to ask you is, what, you know, I asked you about people being offended. Has the, the opposite happened where people have came up to you and said, I know who that is. Yeah, I, know, yeah, I know exactly absolutely. who that is. I know thought of it. A couple of yeah. councillors yeah. told us, you're not a mile off. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of exactly what sometimes, yeah. sometimes life is even funnier yeah. than what you could. Real life is right. actually funnier than, yeah. In yeah. the council this year, our mayor is from the county. Yeah. So... We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> okay, so, so we'll there's going to be something. Else. There will be something directed at that. Yeah. Now, Skull, I'm told that you're the man to talk to about the name of the comedy troupe, the Bilberry Goats. Why, why yeah. Bilberry Goats? They're all going to give out to me over using this name now. But no, uh, we were trying to come up with a name, Mark. That's indigenous to Waterford. Indigenous. Right? Now you see, I knew he'd gone <laughs> there to you go. Oh, he had to get it in. And the herd of goats on the Bilberry Rock are indigenous to Waterford. They're the only type of herd... People in passage will disagree. <laughs> ...of the herd type in the world. So that's how we came up with the name. That's simple enough. Simple, simple enough, enough yeah. Yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. We could have called it the Foundry. <laughs> yeah. But instead we said or the, the Bilberry Goats. that closed down. Or Glass. But that, <laughs> the, yeah, it's, it's the first time that the, the yeah. goats yeah. really have been used and popularised in yeah. that way. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. see you yeah. see the rest of the names in other places. Well, the, the, the unfortunate news is that you're going to be taking a break after this. So these three such shows are sold out. But will we get a chance to see you again? And maybe in a different never say never. Ah, never say more never. than likely, Mark. But we may take, uh, as I said earlier, a slight hiatus. But we'll see. I mean, we it is just another <laughs> <big> one. <laughs> Word for break. <laughs> I just had a dictionary before I came out. But uh, we so don't really drawn. make any any hard and fast decision yet. Yeah. Now, yeah. Because it's a big team involved in this, isn't it? And it's not just the people who are on stage yeah, yeah. involved in it. There's a, there's a huge team oh behind this, God. and getting everybody together yes, is, is a big deal. The production end of it, and uh, the setting of it, and the dressing of it, and it's We're at this since middle August, are we? Mid August, yeah. And that's a lot of work. How many rehearsals were you putting in? Twice a week. Twice, Twice a, week, a week, yeah. Since mid August. Comedy is a serious business, Mark, and I, and I mean that, really. Yeah. It's, it's a serious business. It's not going out in bells and whistles and everyone laughing at each other. No. It has no. to be done properly. Yeah. And, and sometimes, we'll on that one. the more serious we are, the Better. funnier it comes across. Yeah. But in saying that, and it's a serious business, you wouldn't be doing this if you didn't love it, lads. Absolutely. It's in Absolutely. our blood, Mark. By I'm, I'm at it since I was 12, I'm sure. 17. 17. Some people fly kites, some people have model railways. This is what we do as a hobby. Mm. Yeah. That's mm. simple as. Simple yeah. as. It's better than golf. <laughs> well, it doesn't about, take as long. It's a good walk spile. <laughs> <laughs> so if you do love it then and you're passionate about it, it's hardly something you're going to stop doing when this No, stops. but I, I think we all agreed on this. It's, it's hard on Tony, in a sense, to come up with the material every year, so... Give him a break. But having said that, if Tony came up with another six sketches for next year, well, we're off mm, and running. Mm, yeah. And we're also kind of tying with the idea, and there's no decision made, that we could do a year where we would uh, do the classics. Yeah. Do you know what we could do? Like a greatest hits. Yeah, like two Monty Python classic sketches, two more, you know, and pick, yeah, pick eight see. of the classic sketches, even some that Tony yeah. has written. Yeah. So, but it's all up in the air, as Davy said. No hard and fast decision. Yeah, I have a feeling we'll see you again <laughs> in the not too distant future. Oh, we're future. not going away like a bad cold. Yeah, well, it's it's nine <laughs> sold out shows. That's <laughs> and that that's in, that in itself is very impressive. Oh, it's you great. Know, we're delighted. Yeah, we're Thank delighted. You, and and uh, we're, we're, we're very grateful to the Waterford public for coming out and supporting. Absolutely, us. and you know they can be guaranteed we won't let them down. Oh, well, they won't be let down. Well, if they don't have tickets now, they're not going to go and well, see us. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to interview people who go and see to tell everyone else what happened in the show. Um, the best of luck with it I'm sure it'll be fantastic if it wasn't it wouldn't be selling out as quick as it is thanks very much for coming and chatting to me an absolute Cheers, pleasure Mark. thanks Mark. Thank Mark. Thank um, yeah. that's Davey and Skull two of the Bilberry Goats the shows as I said they're on at the start of October but they're sold out but hopefully we'll see the lads in a different guys again very very soon thanks lads